Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I like to share videos of us starting our homestead from scratch. Um, and today is butcher day for the chickens. The boys are right back here. We have 68 chickens to butcher. It is Labor Day weekend and I think we're probably gonna end up using all three days that we have off to butcher. <laughs> Cause it's just my husband and I doing it. Um, we got kind of a little system down and I'll turn the camera around and give you a little tour of kind of how we have things set up. Um, it's gonna be an outside and inside process because uh, we picked this Labor Day weekend because we thought it would be cooler because in North Dakota it's generally cooler over the Labor Day weekend but today we're forecasted to be 91 I think it's 80 something right now so <laughs> it's gonna be a hot day for butchering we're gonna take most of it inside if we can and then uh, I'll show you guys what we got going on here okay we got two coolers here we have another bigger one on the other side of my husband's bus and then we've got this table we like to um, we we'll use the kill cones over here. I think I showed that in a previous video, but we have it mounted to the old garden entrance entrance because where the chickens are now is where our old garden used to be. And so we'll just scoop them up, throw them in the kill cones, and then um, that's where we'll do the initial dispatch of them. And then we'll bring them over here. We have a scalding pot ready. Um, and then when we pluck them, we like to take their feet off. It's just easier on the plucker. Um, we got this other kill cone that we're just going to use to divert water from the motor because my husband just had to do a ton of work on this Yardbird motor. That's one thing about these that we want to warn against if you're looking at a plucker. The engine, the little small engine is mounted underneath where water basically gets in it even though it's supposed to be a sealed up engine um, one of the bearings seized up he had to pull it out and we ordered a new bearing online he fixed that and then the um oh i can't think of the word uh what's that thing that went out on this again the capacitor yeah yeah but yeah the bearing and capacitor the capacitor went out um there was water you could tell there was water inside you could look at the grease and just and the bearing was rusted up so that's one thing against this yard bird style that i would just be careful of um i think with us having the water and the feathers getting diverted it might help with that um so we're gonna use the old capacitor it started working a little bit yet yeah, we kind of have to help spin this to get it going but then it works so we're gonna limp along on this capacitor as long as we can we do have a backup one but it's too big even though it's the same part number it's too big and it didn't fit in the motor so we would have to bring it inside he'd rip it apart and put a new capacitor on and we'd have to like rig it up and it'd be a whole thing so we're praying that this gets us through the 68 birds that we got and then we've got the um scalder here for scalding the birds and we want to be at about 150. Did you shut this off? Yeah, it was it at? It's already still, good. Still, no, it's still. I figure with it being hot outside. Yeah, yeah. Day. So that's good. Um, and so that's kind of our outside setup. We'll just scald them, put them on the table, uh, get the feet off, and then they get plucked. As soon as they're plucked, they're going to go into this giant cooler right here. And we just put trays so they're not sitting directly on the ice. And then that'll keep them cool while we keep going. And then I'll bring you inside and show you what we got going on inside. Okay, inside we stretched out our table. It's a what, nine foot table? And then just have the cutting boards ready. Bunch of bowls as needed for in innards and stuff like that. I'll use this to transport the chickens from the cooler into here. Um, we got gloves that we're going to be using, shears. Um ton of good knives and then here's the surgical blades that we use for the actual jugular cutting uh, process this was actually not a bad deal there's 100 pieces this will last us forever um, and then we didn't have a drying system set up so we just kind of improvised and went with this um, and so we'll just put the chickens in here to dry after we rinse them and clean out their carcasses and stuff like that and then get them dried off, patted down, and then I'll get a burner on here or a pot on here with water. And then we're going to actually use shrink bags to shrink the chickens. Um, 
it's a lot better than vacuum sealing because you have a lot of water that you deal with then they don't want to seal and vacuum bags are expensive so this is what we found was the easiest for us okay it is day three and we have finally finished all 68 meat birds that we were raising and holy cow let me tell you it was a lot of work i didn't think it would take three days but it definitely took three days um i'm gonna whip this around and show you what we have left we've sold a ton already and we only have a couple people left that have wanted to purchase from us um <clears throat> and so i'm going to show you kind of what they look like now that they're done and what we've done with the birds that we're keeping okay so we put them in these shrink bags um kind of similar to how the store does them obviously they don't have the tail like this and a zip tie um but then you just shrink them in some warm water and so they get a nice seal and they're awesome for in the freezer that way. Then you don't get all the surface area of the bird is covered and you don't get any like freezer buildup or anything. I've got two carcasses plus a couple in my inside fridge. These are the ones that we are keeping. And I parted out four birds already. Um, I did thighs. Um, actually, these are drums, legs and wings. Wings are up here. This is all breast meat with tenderloin meat at the bottom. Um, tenderloin, uh, the, yeah, tenderloin. Um, <clears throat> and then these are the thighs, just the thighs. And so I'm still gonna part out this bird back here, I think, and um, put it in uh, food saver bags. I just put them in these for now because I don't have any food saver bags and I need to get some. So I'm gonna shoot this real quick while everybody's outside, leaving the front door open. Oh, Olivia. Um, so tonight we had rotisserie chicken. Kind of messed up. We just butchered them, but it's never been fresher. You, We butchered it today, and it went on the rotisserie this evening for supper. It was super good. We had potatoes out of the garden, some carrots that I had canned last year, and then a biscuit. Um, cheater biscuits. I did cheater biscuits. Um, so I also got a um, bulk order from Azure Standard, so I figured I'd put that away. And I'll flip it around real quick and show you what I got. So I refilled my onion powder. And then I got Italian seasoning. And it got me all that Italian seasoning. Plus this whole jar full as well. So it's a pound no matter what. It's just it goes by weight. So it was a pound of onion powder and a pound of Italian. But since it's obviously more coarse of a... Uh, a herb um it took up more space but that's fine that's good um i got plenty now for pasta sauces because i have tomatoes that are turning in the garden i'm gonna have to go pick those this week it's just been wild busy with <laughs> with uh chickens i mean i've just been in a whirlwind and then i also got some more sugar which i filled up my don't look at my dirty dishes guys i filled up my sugar jar dishes are dirty because the dishwasher is full and the sinks being used because I am also canning <laughs> I am canning chicken broth that I made up while we were butchering um I needed freezer space so I pulled a carcass out of the freezer with some veggie scraps that I had frozen and made um chicken stock and then I also have this whole container full of shredded chicken that I'm gonna can too. Um, so I'm gonna be busy. Now I need to get my lid on the canner because it is 744. I still have this to can, some more pints to can. I think I'm gonna do pints. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do pints. Um, mm, gosh, you know what? I'll probably fight with myself until these are done. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I need to get these canning. I need to get my bulk stuff put away and then see where I'm at for all my stuff for the week because tomorrow is Tuesday and I am back to work. And as if I wasn't crazy enough, um, I decided to do a couple more things um, to try and get prepped for the week. Um, Anthony was out of yogurt, so I'm going to whip him up some yogurt. I just got a gallon of my um, whole milk at my local grocery store and then um, just one container of um, any plain Greek yogurt. I have a video on this too. Um, but I just grabbed this one. It's just plain 
Greek yogurt. And then this is actually exactly half a cup, which is what I need. Um, so per half gallon, it's, the ratio is a half a gallon to a quarter cup of a starter culture. Um, you can go back and look on my other videos and I kind of break it down and show you how to make it. Um, I always double the batch because he always uses a lot. Um, and then I'm also going to make some homemade um, brown sugar. Um, two things that you can make that you don't necessarily need to buy at the store as long as you have sugar and molasses you can make your brown sugar and then if you want powdered sugar it's the same thing it's just sugar basically beaten up so you could make powdered sugar and brown sugar as long as you have molasses and sugar in your house so a food processor gets used quite a bit in this house um, all I'm gonna do there's ratios that you can look up on Pinterest on Google whatever I just pop the top and I start pouring and I pulse as I pour and I kind of watch and see what color I like and I stop when I like it you can do dark brown or light brown sugar it all depends on how much molasses you use is uh, light versus dark so I'm gonna whip this up and then I will show you okay oh I'm going to turn this down, and here we have brown sugar. So it works just like brown sugar that you buy at the store. Same thing in recipes, it's exactly the same. So I'm just going to transfer this into my container, and then I'm going to take a piece of bread, homemade bread, and put it in there to help with moisture issues. Um, so I'm just going to fill it up and then I'm also going to use this to make um, my homemade syrup that I use in coffees. Um, I've been on a super big coffee kick lately, uh, iced coffee, and so I use a little bit of homemade syrup, brown sugar syrup, in my coffee. And it's super good. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys in a short how to make that or something. It's super easy and it's really good. So I'm going to load this up and we're going to keep going on everything else. Just wanted to show you real quick that this packs it packs in a cup just like brown sugar would now you could have pulsed it a little bit more see it packs nicely you could have pulsed it a little bit more see I still have some chunks of um see holds shape and everything um some chunks of molasses in there but I really don't everything I use brown sugar in it gets mixed in anyway so I'm not really too concerned that it's got <clears throat> molasses chunks because this is going to get dissolved or mixed in with something anyway. So it's fine with me. I just whipped it up quick because now I'm going to shred the zucchini that I have over there because I have way too much zucchini and I need to put it away before it gets rotten. Okay, it is... can't see the time. 11.37 <laughs> on Labor Day Monday <clears throat> and I just finished up with my last batch of um, chicken stock. Sorry if I'm being quiet. Everybody else is sleeping. <laughs> I just hopped out of the shower. I was nasty from all the chicken butchering. Um, but we got it all done. We got the chickens butchered. Um, we got one, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven quarts of chicken stock, um, a gallon of yogurt. I got my coffee ground up and brewed, so I have my cold brew in the fridge. And then I got the zucchini shredded up. I got a whole gallon Ziploc bag of shredded zucchini. Um, what was the other thing that I did? Oh, brown sugar. I got my syrup made. Everything's ready, everything's done. It was a really long weekend, um, but we got it done. So now we can kind of focus on um, winter prep and getting things ready for winter. Um, we need to secure some bales of straw for the ladies' coop. And so I think we're probably gonna get that next weekend. Next weekend, we really wanna take time and just spend time with the kids because we've been so busy. It feels like we haven't done anything with them in forever. So we're gonna take some family time next weekend and just kind of lay low and I'm gonna reorganize my pantry, um, reorganize my food storage places and just kind of take inventory of everything I need and then I'm gonna try and do a nice another big Azure haul, Azure standard bulk order so that I can kind of stock up my pantry for winter because it is coming and it's coming way too fast. 
So I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. I hope you weren't as busy as I was. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show this, you know, whole weekend and how busy it was because not like, oh, look at me, I'm so great. I just wanted to share the reality of it, like the hustle and bustle of choosing this lifestyle. And <sighs> I'm tired and I hurt, <laughs> but it's worth it. Like being able to see this food on my shelf and then have it there for when winter comes. Sheena, you gotta lay down, girlfriend, you're loud. Sheena, come lay down. We're supposed to get a thunderstorm and I think it's starting, so. She's pacing, she hates thunderstorms, but I just kind of wanted to bring you guys along, show you what we're doing. <laughs> That's the point of my channel, is just kind of sharing ideas and what we do and how we grow. So we're gonna take notes and I'll kind of share butcher notes with you guys maybe next week um, and then see what our plan is gonna be for next spring. Um, we're definitely gonna split them up. We're not gonna do huge batches like this. We're gonna do try and do like batches of 25. So we're gonna have to get staggered um, baby chicks. So I'm gonna go to bed and you guys have a great week and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.